Hi, it's Sarah with Grassroots Evolution, and I'm here to bring you guys a weekly message for air signs. So if you're a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, this may be for you. This is for the week of October 28th through November 3rd. So we're crossing over from October to November. It feels a little early, but I want to get this message out for you guys. Um, I am being asked just to ask you guys to take off your shoes and spread your toes and... Um, before we get into this reading, we're going to take three deep breaths in and help bring in love and light and help release anything else. So if you want to take part, um, go ahead now, take your shoes off. If you don't, just kind of skip over this part, guys. But be open if you receive some messages throughout this, if your soul gives you some answers to some questions that you have. Um, ask. We're going to ask before we do this for Archangel Michael to guard, guide, bless, and protect us this reading this uh, breathing session and also ask that he give us any messages in the clearest form possible so that we can understand them and apply them to our life and our situations so let's take a deep one first deep breath in guys feel yourself ground in imagine light coming through the top of your head and anchor your feet into the earth's core and like a tree you can wobble but you won't move you won't fall and release anything else that is going to stop you from standing tall. Another deep breath in, guys. Hands open. Breathing in love and light. And I just saw a doorway. Remove anything that tells you you're not worthy of walking through the next chapter of your world and your life. With love. And last one, guys. Deep breath in. Worthiness. Love affection, attention, royalties. You guys are kings and queens in your worlds. So breathe out anything that would have you treat yourself less. Out into the world with love. Guys, sorry that was a little um, outside of what I usually start with, but um, if it's for you, it's for you. And if it's not, just kind of disregard it and go about your day with love. So I'm going to ask my team of light to jump in and we're going to get right into the reading for this week. We have So Shall It Be, Ascended Master, Babaji, and Diamond, So Shall It Be. And I've been receiving um, diamond messages this week. One of the things as well is I was watching Slug Terra. It's a cartoon with my kid the other day. And, or no, it wasn't Slug Terra. It's Fangbone. Okay, sorry, my bad. But Fangbone and his friend have to defeat this hamster that's going to eat everything and consume everything but the sword is a diamond tip sword meaning that it can't break right a diamond's the only thing that's going to break this sword and the strength and her reliance as well and her eye ever open here with um goddess tara and tibetan quartz both clear both being connected with spirit um and i'm hearing again stand tall right Walking tall, if we think about the movie, Walking Tall, The Rock. Um, <laughs> he never swayed from his convictions, right? And this is what this is, I feel like. That so shall it be, your eyes opening to the power that you have. And the power even that doing that little exercise that we just did, connecting with your spirit, connecting with your breath space, your thought space, and just taking a few minutes to yourself, it helps. It helps to ground us and also helps to... Um, Oh, wow, I heard Fuse Energy Transmission as well because what we're doing is while we're doing that, we are bringing in universal energy and light. So always ask that if you're asking your guides your, um, that they're here for your highest power, ask your higher self to be present to deliver the messages again for your highest good. If you feel, excuse me, when you're watching other readers or if you're, if you're watching things that make you fearful and give you anxiety, paying attention, I would stop, right? Things like this. This is, um, if, if something, if we can see there's patterns, like for example, I can't watch ghost, ghost movies, ghost stories, because the pattern is that as much as I like them, I get really freaked out and I freak myself out and think that, you know, it's not that there wasn't ghosts. It was almost like an unintentionally calling them in because also I was so open to it. And then again, freaking myself out. Now, um, I've started to reintroduce sometimes some of that stuff in, but if I do watch a, a show about ghosts or anything, I do, I ask spirit to, um, to filter so that I'm not inviting energy to me. I'm just watching a movie. Be, when we can see our own patterns and 
open our eyes up, if that's our power. And we know that, okay, I can change that. And here on out, so shall it be. I will never watch. Hey, I shouldn't say never, it might happen, but I'm not going to actively participate in um, being oblivious in my world anymore. No more unintentionally calling spirit in. For example, too, and I'm, I'm being drawn to give you guys examples of this, and we'll get into tarot, but it's gone. That, it happens a lot, air signs. So it, it wasn't meant to be. It'll come back if it's here for us to stay, but I'm going to ask a message from the Nicoletta Sacoli or Cecily Tarot. Six. Okay. Um, there is a hexagon, I believe that is, right here. And that is six sided with a circle around it. If you take pictures of the sun as well, you've got like little images of like this from light flickers and refractions or whatever the word is for that. But um, that's what this reminds me of. And it's the same one with the so shall it be. There's this blinding white light and up above it, there is spirit. There, You could also be getting... Um, if some of you may see spirit orbs, but there could be a lot of spirit around you in your pictures, in your house, anything. I think this is also where this is coming back. Now the message is clearer. When I was a kid, I didn't realize as much how much spirit was in my house until I looked back at old pictures, some of them. And what I thought was dust was little orby things. So look back at some of that. October this month, we are crossing that threshold. The veil is thin. Mercury is going to retrograde on the 31st, which is Halloween, guys. And you know as well, our ancestors, they're here with us. So if you're seeing orbs, they pay attention to the magical in this world. And never, never, never forget your power to stand tall and stand true and sway like that tree. But don't that brute babies. So I'm going to uh, bring in the zombie tarot today for Halloween's sake and get a little bit more messages here. So this is for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Guys, for all my subscribers, anyone still watching to this point, thanks for being here. I love you, love you, love you from the bottom of my heart. And it means the world to me that you guys are here and I got the Empress. So what I'm just saying that is nice to have you guys watch. And if this is for you, if I'm picking up on a situation, it could be past life, um, past situation now or something that's trickling in. But I feel like this is very fertile time with the Empress here. So guys, I'm all over the place, but what I meant to say there is if you're new at the end, if this is for you, click subscribe if you want to join the journey. It'd be wonderful to have you. And like this, it's like this mother figure of the universe with the hermit in the reverse and the wheel of fortune in the reverse. I'm not really going to care about the reversals right now, but the top of the Nicoletta Sassoli or Sekoli deck was this. And I was shuffling it, the Ace of Pentacles. I was shuffling that before I was taken into the um, Crystal Mandela Oracle, and this is by Elena Fairchild. But the thing with this is, it's like, what are you nurturing? Because as you're in this hermit mode, as it being in the reverse as well is like, um, it's going to take nurture yourself and remove yourself from any self-doubts. Because she's still stopping this here, so there could be a protective energy while... Um, needing to sort some stuff or figure some stuff out is what I've heard there. But that there is new beginning and growth here. They really want me to read out of this book for number 37. Um, her Eye Ever Open with Goddess Terra and Tibetan Quartz. It may also be that you want to call on uh, Goddess Terra as well and ask that she's here for your highest good. The light is changing, guys, and I apologize. But already there is some affirmations Okay, so as you learn to support your open and loving nature with strong boundaries and self-respect, the Universal Mother Tara, with her eye ever open, will also watch out for you. As you expand your light, she will create a field of fierce compassion and protective grace around you. If one fearful person attempting to attack you could cause you to lose your footing and prevent many people from benefiting from your light, she will step in, often without you even realizing that you need divine protection and support. You can relax and know that once you make a commitment to the Universal Mother to help nurture the world, and that's this Empress, this nurturing, once you help nurture the world with love, you shall benefit from her unconditional grace, protection, and support. With her eye ever open, nothing shall go unnoticed, and her notice stops fear in its tracks. 
If you have fear about being seen, becoming visible, or coming out of the spiritual closet out of concern for what others will think or do, or feel that perhaps an unresolved past life issue where you were harmed for your beliefs is coming up, take comfort. This oracle brings you the grace of Divine Mother's healing intervention. You are meant to overcome this and move trustingly into the light. It is what is meant for you, and she will help you get there. My battery may die, and if I get cut off, guys, I apologize, but I feel like that just really reiterated this. This Three of Cups was on the bottom of the Nicoletta Sequoli or Cecily de Tarot, being unhappy, right? Heartbreak in the reverse in this. With these cards in the reverse, whatever has hearted your heart down or whatever things are being moved through, if there's others trying to um, impede on your personal growth, it's like, don't stop for nobody, for nothing, for no how. Okay, don't allow someone else to rip that carpet, to allow you to sway like that tree. Do that breathing exercise and know that Tara is, as they explained, the universal, the mother, another mother figure, much like this empress. So what are you nurturing? Nurture yourselves, my darlings. Nurture the places in your world where it's time to be seen and it's time to give away this pinnacle or this offer. But what I love about this is, do you see how this bird's coming to her? you don't there's no there's no needing to go about after something it's like standing still much like that tree it's standing still and standing tall that's when things come to you and the news is going to come to you i am going to bring in an earth magic oracle as a parting message just to stay balanced and grounded through this spirit this will be for air signs gemini libra aquarius Thank you. You have perspective and purification. Um, as we purify, as we change, and as we grow, we see things differently from a whole new perspective. And that allows new worlds to come, to flourish. And that is, as well as once we can purify the negative influences around us and bring new perspective, as we grow, I'm hearing like threefold, as we nurture whatever we nurture, there's so much more power and intent on what we're doing. We're gaining momentum is the word. Gaining a momentum for whatever this new endeavor, new situation, new time of your life with the wheel of fortune here like if you've been thinking if you've been nurturing yourself in private and just doing the stuff like if you look at this one she's taking her time reading the books boarded up safe in the basement wherever zombies locked away they can't get me and just box of chocolates right content and happy in this world that even that kind of stuff will help to bring you this perspective to just get away from any negative influences for a while purify that that place and they're asking me to see the bottom of the deck is passion 